Hey guys, Jacob here. In this video, I'm going to show you another puzzle I made. Uh, this time, I made a face-turning pentagonal prism. So, this puzzle turns on these square faces, as well as the top and bottom pentagonal faces. So, this puzzle actually has seven faces, while a 3x3 three three has 6, and uh, it has the 6 colors that a normal cube has, plus a 7th color, which I made purple, and uh, this puzzle functions very similarly to a cuboid, so by that I mean, like, for the side faces, you can only do half turns. You can't do quarter turns, because it doesn't it doesn't line up. So, this puzzle has a mechanism very similar to a 3x3. Three three. So, this is what a corner looks like. And, uh, this is an edge. They fit together like that. So, I actually made the rails for the square faces and the rails for the pentagonal faces uh, different sizes just to kind of fit the, I don't know, just to fit the geometry and make it work better. So, <clears throat> while a 3x3 three three has 8 edges, or 8 corners rather, <clears throat> this one has 10 corners because there's 5 on each on each side instead of 4. It also has 15 edges instead of 12 edges like a 3x3 three three does. And not only that, but it has two different types of edges. You got the square pentagon faces, or the square pentagon edges that look like this, as well as the square square edges. So, yeah. The square square edges, there are five of them, and they are around the equator layer. <clears throat> and then there are ten of these edges. So, I've been trying to make a puzzle like this for a while, uh, but I just now got around to making one. And, uh, I'm not sure exactly how to solve it, but I have tried before, and I'm actually going to scramble it up in this video and show you, like, kind of my attempt, like, just how much I am able to solve. <clears throat> so, due to the fact that this can only do half turns on the square faces, I actually solve it like a cuboid, so <clears throat> I solve the the five square square edges first, so uh, the middle layer edges, and I'm first going to insert that one, and then that one, <clears throat> and then... Uh, gonna kind of cycle that one around to flip it and uh it looks like I need to flip these two so I came up with an algorithm a while ago that flips them uh I think I'm I think I'm gonna bring that one over and then oh yeah okay so uh that flips it what I basically did was I moved it I cycled it around the cube to uh to flip it and the reason that works is because there's an odd number of sides so every time you flip it it every time you do one of these turns it changes the orientation so doing it an odd number of times results in it having a different orientation so what i'm gonna do now is try and solve the bottom layer I'm just going to solve it kind of 
by building blocks. Well, There we go. Yeah. I forgot that um I needed to preserve the middle layer. So uh and do that and then let's All right, so we got the bottom layer solved, and uh, it looks like the top layer corners are already solved, and I actually came up with an algorithm that cycles th three edges. It cycles this one, this one, and this one, and it is this one. So that's actually a cuboid algorithm. As you can see, it preserved these two, but it cycled these around. So, if we do that three times, <clears throat> it gets you right where you started. And I still need to find a way to cycle the edges around. And once I do that, I will know how to solve it. So, for now, I'm just going to manually swap them. So yeah, um, that's about it for uh, for this puzzle. Um, <clears throat> once again, I am going to Sharon Fork's qualifier on February 11th, and I will be bringing my 3D printed puzzles, including this one. So if you want to see it in person, you can uh, look for me there, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, bye.